Hello and welcome to the section number 5 of our video course GPU Accelerated JavaScript. In the first video, we're going to talk about how to improve efficiency using GPU. Up until the moment, we have seen different strategies of how to use asynchronous programming flows in JavaScript. Also, we have taken a look at how to create truly parallel code by using Web Workers API. But besides these approaches, there is one more way of running parallel code in JavaScript by using GPU instead of CPU. The good thing about GPU is that besides allowing us to run the code in parallel, it could potentially increase the processing speed depending on the nature of code, given the nature of GPU units. The GPU programming happens by using the canvas element. Canvas has something called a shader function in order to execute the code responsible for calculate the picture details that we want to display inside our canvas element. In order to program the code for a GPU, we will use a shader code. Shader code can be defined as small programs that are executed on the GPU. Each shader operates on a single vertex in 3D rendering or a single pixel in 2D rendering. Think of it in the following way. If you have a computer with a screen like 1600s per 2500s and you can run it with 60 frames per second frequency, we can multiply 2500 per 1600 and then 4 millions per 60, which will give us 240 millions of calculations per second. So this is the way that our GPU works. It recalculates the properties of each single pixel on the screen in parallel. This is named massive parallel programming. So for example, if we try to do it in JavaScript that runs on CPU, we will get our browser frozen forever and our computer will be burned down. So this is what a GPU programming is really, really great for. All of this is possible because graphical processing units has thousands of cores. WebGL is a standard which describes how the shaders should be defined and how they can be accessed from the JavaScript code. In the following sections, we will take a look more in detail on how to write code for shaders. Also, we need to remember that besides providing possible improvements, GPU programming also has some challenges. One of them is each pixel has zero knowledge of other pixels, so the code that you will create will be a little bit limited. In terms of that, it will not be able to interact with each of the results that are happening in parallel, like we can do in Web Worker API, for example, by sending messages. Debugging is extremely challenging. There is no ways yet of allowing a CPU to attach debuggers to the code that is running inside a GPU due to the performance reasons. Also, the code testing can be very challenging because we do not have the same tools and testing suits that we have for JavaScript code.